In this lecture, we're going to cover some key stats that every job seeker needs to know about resumes. So first, understand that recruiters are typically being bombarded with a volume of resumes they can't handle. So you need to make sure that yours is tailored the right way so that it lands in their hands and immediately captures their attention. Let's talk about some of these key stats and what you need to do about them. First, according to a Forbes study, 75% of qualified applicants have been rejected by the applicant tracking system. So just think about that for a second. All of these people that are a good fit for the job are getting tossed out because they don't meet the ATS standards. We'll get into the specifics of the ATS later, but for now, just understand how powerful this is that so many people are filtered out and you're gonna wanna make sure that you don't fall into that trap. This next one is huge as well. According to CareerBuilder, you have six seconds to make yourself stand out to a potential reader before they start judging your resume. I really want you to keep in mind how quickly you have to make an impact because if you don't, the opportunity is gone. So here's what we recommend. Make sure that your resume is ATS compliant, and we'll talk about the details of that later. Make sure you're prioritizing your absolute best selling points at the top of the resume. You need to quickly make that impression to the reader. Don't bury your best stuff at the bottom. And then finally, make sure you're customizing your resume for the specific role. Again, they're gonna be very quick to judge you. You need to take every advantage you can get to make them think you are an excellent fit for this opportunity. Make sure that you don't fall into these traps, getting rejected by the ATS, burying your best selling points at the bottom. You need to be seen within six seconds. And don't use a generic template for every role you apply to. You're going to need to tailor your resume every time you're applying for a new job. Keep these stats in mind. They should be helping you frame how you think about the application and resume writing process from the employer's perspective. If you can do that, follow these tips, avoid the pitfalls. It will really help you maximize your chances of getting in front of these employers for an interview.